Hey guys, what's going on? It's Exopedia, the exercise encyclopedia. I'm gonna be showing you how to execute the perfect seated leg curl. I'm here with Massive Joe's warehouse manager, Jerome. Jerome is gonna demonstrate how to execute the perfect seated leg curl. So the seated leg curl is quite a complicated exercise and the key to executing it correctly is getting the setup correct. Jerome's gonna demonstrate. So the first thing that you wanna set up is the position of the back pad to the point where your knees are hanging just over the seat. From here, you wanna set the knee rest in place, not too far down that it's putting too much pressure on your knees, but enough so that you can press up against it. And then finally is the ankle pad. You wanna have it towards the top of your ankles, not too far down your ankles, or that's gonna shorten your range of motion. That is the perfect position, and now we're ready to execute. So there's a couple of key points you wanna try and avoid when executing the seated leg curl. Jerome's gonna demonstrate the first is the partial reps, the top half partial reps, not coming all the way down and contracting, not going all the way up and letting the hamstring relax. You really need to get full range of movement for this exercise to count. The second thing you want to avoid is using too much body English, is swinging, bringing in all kinds of muscle groups that you're not trying to stimulate. That's going to do nothing for hamstring development. So when executing the perfect seated leg curl, the two keys are range of motion and constant tension. Jerome's going to demonstrate. So it's a nice smooth motion keeping constant tension in the hamstrings. It's a full range of motion coming all the way down for a squeeze at the top of the rep and all the way up for a stretch at the, at the bottom of the rep. That is how you execute the perfect seated leg curl. And the advanced tip for executing the perfect seated leg curl has to do with your toe position. Jerome's gonna demonstrate. So on the concentric phase of each rep, you wanna point your toes back towards your torso and then on the eccentric phase of every rep, you wanna point your toes away from your torso. That's gonna allow you to keep maximum tension in the hamstrings and stimulate maximum hamstring growth. And guys, that is how to execute the perfect seated hamstring curl for maximum hamstring growth. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, stay up to date with all the latest editions of Exopedia. And guys, that is Exopedia, and I'm coming to you from MassiveJoes.com. Stay massive.